recording. It's Tuesday, July 9th. I know I haven't seen or talked to you guys recently. Um, there's just been a lot that's been happening. I had two jobs and life got really busy and hectic and we were visiting people and all that fun stuff. So, um, I'm going to try to get back into this because I miss it and I miss you guys. Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's do some stuff today. I was like not feeling well yesterday and this morning I am very congested. I don't know if you can hear me <laughs> um, over the giant air conditioner, but um, yeah, I don't have to work this week because I don't. Um, I'll get into that a little later and let you guys know what happened with my job. Um, but yeah, for now, um, we should go make some coffee. Because I'm gonna need it for today. Okay, hi, good morning. We got dressed, we have coffee, the kid is eating breakfast. We're gonna go do a couple errands today. Um, anyway, um, I was gonna tell you guys about my job with the county with the health department. Um, I was basically exited early out of the program because I wasn't going to hit my hours. And <clears throat> these last couple of months have been a struggle to get hours in. Um, when I would ask for hours, there would kind of be um, crickets for a little bit and then all of a sudden I would get a whole bunch of projects um, which was great which was fine I loved it but then I started to struggle a little bit because I couldn't be in the office as much as they wanted me to to be in person and that's because I don't have childcare for my little guy um, and our family situation just wasn't working out, plain and simple, just wasn't working out. Um, and so I would have to either bring him with me 
or just do it remotely. And some of the bigger projects that they wanted me to work on were in person, like I had to be there. And so I just really struggled to get there and to like do most of those things. Um, I loved working there. I did. I loved my supervisor. I loved my coworkers. Like they could not have been more welcoming. Honestly, I've never worked with a, a more welcoming group of people in my life. And so it was really, it was a hard decision, but it was something that needed to be done. So we decided that I needed to exit early. I, I wouldn't have made up the hours anyways because they were asking me to work 42 hours a week. And I have a second job. So, um... It wouldn't have worked and they wanted me to pick up Saturdays which I didn't mind a Saturday here or there but realistically I would have had to work almost every single Saturday and so uh, me being the only parent at home consistently with my kiddo it's is was just not possible um, <clears throat> but like I said, um, it was a smooth transition out, um, wonderful place to work, wonderful co-workers. Um, I'd technically been at the health department since 2020, so almost like four years, like three and a half years, because um, I had started in November of 2020, and that was the longest wild ride ever. I got hired during COVID, for COVID, you know, like I, I got to call up the positive cases and give them all this information. And I, I felt like I was making a difference. And I think that's what made the job worthwhile was that I really felt like people in public health, we, we work hard to make a difference in the community and we might not see it right away it's slow changes but progress is progress you know what i mean so i feel like yeah i feel like we made a difference and at least i made a difference <laughs> nice <laughs> um but yeah anyways that's what happened with that um and yeah So anywho, like I said, we got errands to run today. Um, we got to run to Aldi's, and then I think I'm gonna try to run to the dollar store. And I'm coming with you. You are coming with me. <laughs> yeah. So let's go run some errands. Ready to go. Alright guys, we got the haul today. All these apples, all that stuff. Not that junk. <laughs> um, and then we got fruits, tons of fruit, milk, chicken breasts, and some string cheese. Cute are these? Found these at Walmart. 
It was a set for two bucks. I was like, absolutely, I'll take that. Um, these are so flavored that I am going to mix it with water and pour them in here so that he's got some big, cool ones. So, yeah. We're here at the splash pad. Yay! Yeah. Did you hear the train? I did hear the train. It's been a little overwhelming of a day. Um, that looks good. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Being at home with him all the time has really been a di like a different perspective. And not that I wasn't home with him before, but I was working before, so this is really different. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!